Hi, I'm Kieran Tudor and I am Remington Session Stylist and today I've got a video on my grooming routine. So I take care of my beard using the Remington G5 Graphite Series, which is an all-in-one trimmer for your hair, your beard and your facial hair and your body hair. So starting with a six millimeter, I'm just gonna take the beard down to an even length. Switch it on. And then just start to work around the face work generally up to about halfway up the ear which is where I do and then I tend to kind of scoop out and neaten up the sideburns later on. You can also use your hands and create a bit of tension which helps to stretch the skin out so it makes it easier for the blades to cut them. These are a tricky area for me because the hair tends to grow inwards in towards the neck. So what I do is I stretch the skin a little bit back and then I go against the grain. So just going against the hair like so. You tend to capture it all. Another thing to remember as a good tip is that you don't want to push into the face too much because obviously the guard is set to a millimetre standard. If you start pushing in too much, it can take it shorter than that length. That's something I learned the hard way with having a longer beard and ended up taking too much out. So a good tip for guys with longer beards, if you've got it on the longer millimetre setting, you can go down the beard instead of going in and up because that's really going to take a lot of the length away. Whereas if you put it onto like a 10 mil or higher and you've got a longer beard, you can just start to incrementally take the weight out and it kind of neatens it up uh, without you taking a massive chunk out of the hair. I want to keep a kind of close contact with the face at all times. So taking off the comb attachment, now I'm going to start to define the beard. Personally for me, I don't like my beard to look too neat. I quite like a kind of lifting look. But this is where if you did want to really define the jawline, you could go in higher underneath the chin and start to outline an edge to get a really defined line. What I tend to do is just work on the cheek line. So as the blade is, I'll look at a point, maybe the corner of the lip is where I sort of work to, and then every, anything above that working up to the hairline, I remove. So again, stretching the skin, that helps to get a bit of tension. And then I place the blade in on the line that I want to create and then work away from it. Place in, work away. Place in, work away. And then scoop it, curve it round up to the hairline, like so. I also use it just around the sort of edges. Like my, I've got a natural growth which has gaps, but if there's any strays, I just tend to neaten them up. I also neaten the lip line like so and then the bottom lip. Place it in and work up. Place it in and work up. In, work up. In and up, in and up. You can come down to the line, but obviously you're hiding where the line is. It's difficult to know when to stop. So that's why I tend to place it on the line and work off away from it. Then you can flip around if you want and you can go back in like so. So now I've got my beard to a general length. We're on a six mil. And now what I want to do is change the head attachment to the foil like so. Unlock the normal head attachment and then I place on and twist and lock in the foil attachment. And this is just for really getting that a little bit smoother on the cheek line. So again, pull the face a little bit. And you can hear it's taking those hairs that little bit closer. I just really like the feel on the skin when you go down to a foil length. 
So now we're neat enough everywhere. 